We are moving house. We're moving house on Tuesday and we literally have 25 years worth of stuff in our yard. So we're trying to condense it into a van sized load and it's proving interesting. <laughs> helpful having such an eager worker the ponies are obviously helping really really helpful um, as you can see it's actually quite a good um, grooming kit rest as well <laughs> So some of you might have seen from Ted's Insta stories, but we literally have the cutest nest of baby robins in the stable. There's five of them. And they made a nest in my big horse's head collar, which is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> so we're about to pressure jet the stables, which have been um, festering for however many years, like 15 years? Under those mats, yeah, so um, here she goes, she's in her pit. I've been told I'm the only man for the job. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. Oh, there's something in the pocket of these. Ooh, a pair of gloves. I'm going to put them on. Can never protect these mitts too much. Anything else in the other pocket? Hopefully some goggles or a visor. Ooh, some nails, just in case we need to knock up shelves in there if we get bored. <laughs> Alright, so see you on the other side. I'm about to go in. Next time um, you see under these mats, it will be pristine. This is my facial protection. These glasses. Oh, my feet. Doing well, as you can see. <laughs> Stuff just about everywhere. <laughs> yeah. The lorry back is quite full so far. Lots of horseware. The tack room is currently half as full as it was, so we're getting there. Looking good. <laughs> Doing a good job. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're on, we're on. Okay. So if you've not tried pressure jetting before, it's actually one of the most satisfying jobs ever, so I would definitely recommend giving it a go. So the removal men are here, sad times. We've lived here for 28 years. So it's going to be a big change, but we're going somewhere very exciting, we can't wait for you to see. This is the finished stable. It looks pretty damn good, if you ask me. Very clean compared to what it was. And this is the packed lorry. <laughs> All the rubber mats are down there. It goes up to the ceiling and it contains our tack room, the contents of Teddy's feed room, and also um, Teddy's stable and rugs which there are a lot of. And if you think we also have three big horses, there's a lot of stuff. And just a short interlude to bring you the three cutest dogs in the world. They are so sweet, look at them.
And Albie decided he didn't want to be with Ted, he wanted to be with the big horses on his last day in this house. Heads. So it's the first day in the new house. We've sort of made do with this field. It's got quite a lot of leaves, so we'll be making him a new field. But for now, they're very happy. Rusty, come here! What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure you're meant to be eating that. You've got something in your eye too. <laughs> Rusty thinks he's a horse. <laughs> right, boys. don't they? <laughs> Happy boys. So a bit of a dream come true really. Welcome to our new farm. It's absolutely amazing. It's eight acres and you can see the boys are a little pinprick in the distance. They're going to be so so happy here. We can't wait to share their adventures. So this is our new tack room. Little do we know it actually has units, which uh, we can remodel. But so much exciting! <laughs> so exciting. We've got some very important items here, like um, this number. Yes. Unicorn number. Lots of teddy. I mean, oh. it's surprising how much the Shetland actually has, isn't it? The Schleich animals. The Schleich animals. Which actually we play teddy with. Teddy the And Teddy. Yeah. <laughs> we play with. No shame. About 20 riding hats. Okay, um, just stuff. Okay. So, after a long, long day, the tack room, which you saw previously, looked like a bit of a mess. Now looks like this. We have our we have Teddy stuff on the bottom um, and on the shelves to the right. Then we have numbers, um, show rugs, turnout rugs. It's a bit of a mess because it's really hard to fold them. Teddy's amazing artwork by Eleanor Tomlinson. Some of my pictures of me eventing. In case you didn't know, I also event my little horse at quite a high level. So this is him. He's called the Little Frenchman. And here are some rosettes. Teddy's really cute little saddles, bandages, boots for the big horses. Um then obviously the grooming products, so we have hoof oils um, and then we have shampoos. We are, um, there's quite a lot of smart grooming products here that you'll see. And then at the bottom we have fly spray and you'll also see some Keratex and some Equine. Um, and then I'm going to cook as Ace one for me. Oh, everything's fine. I'm very lucky to have some kitchen units so in this one this is our medical cupboard um then this is the clipping cupboard it also contains some uh leftover tiles from the previous owners this is our lunging cupboard um what else this is the hat cupboard you'll see there's a bit of a bias towards gatehouse there so very sweet, this is the outside of our tack room that I just showed you. Um, you can see my Jump for Joy banner there, they're my eventing sponsors. I'm not quite sure where to put it yet, but I'm sure it will 
have a very nice space soon so yeah we think this area is really cute it also has a rather large bird um department <laughs> the door next door used to be a chicken coop and also for peacocks there were two peacocks so who knows maybe we'll be able to convince mum um, to get some at some point because they do make very tasty eggs but we'll see so I'm going to Teddy's little yard bit now and I will bring you along with me I've just got some um, bits and bobs to take down there so it's a little bit dark but this is going to be Teddy's um, sort of rug room because it's quite close to his stables which are currently there we're going to obviously upgrade them at some point, but for now, it's perfectly fine. Go and say hello to him. See what he's up to. He's a bit confused because obviously he's only really ever known one home. So everything's a bit falling down and random, but these stables are actually perfectly fine. Ah, and they're falling asleep together. Hi, boys. Having a siesta. That's very really cute. So, yeah, as I said before, we've rubber matted it. We've got our egg cooking bedding at the back. And Teddy is um, clearly very sleepy after a day stuffing his face in his new field. Albie, what are you doing? a dog not a horse can we go show everyone the whole of your new farm boys can we go show everyone the whole of your new farm are you coming too are you both coming so the stables here are currently quite overgrown there's a lot of trees because it used to be a matchstick farm apparently and they're really tall so that's a bit of a pain but this is the land. Oh, this is a little pen. I think I've actually decided there's too much grass in there, so we're going to relocate it. <laughs> there's plenty of space. So there's no point in them getting fat for the sake of it. And a little pond there. You will definitely not be swimming in there, pets. So this is the back field. You can see it is quite large. You got a niche, Alby? You two are not pony, are you? Um, grass is a bit shorter here actually, so they must have cut it. But you can see all the way down to the back trees through that marshy area. That's all of our land too. And then I'll take you and show you the other paddock around here. little bridge goes to another field. This is the one that I said the lorry's in at the moment. We're very brave with bridges boys. So this is the other field. Quite a nice long field. It's all the way down there. So yeah we've got a lot to do. There are currently no fences at all. This was a wood store. I'll put a picture of what it used to look like. But after lots of hard work, we now have the tools in here, of which he has a lot. So this would be like the hay room, feed room. <laughs>
thank you so much for watching we can't wait to share more of our new really exciting home with you and i'm sure there will be a lot of adventures to come so make sure you subscribe like and tell all your friends before.